What's up Guardians, J-Man here, and today we're getting wild. I recently stumbled upon this Astrocyte Verse and Manticore combo that was so fun, it even made Iron Banner a good time. There's also a pretty reliable leak going around that mentions an insane buff for Astrocyte next season. And if this leak is true, Astrocyte is about to become the absolute meta, so it's best to start preparing now. Let's start by talking about this leak. Apparently, Astrocyte will now blink further and more frequently than it already does, while leaving behind a burst of void damage that also suppresses enemies. That sounds absolutely busted, and you'll see throughout the video how often I am blinking near enemies to evade their nonsense. And if you're also applying damage to targets and suppressing them at the same time, this is 100% going to be the meta for my movement style players out there, trust me. High skill players are going to get in your face, instantly blink above you, and gun you down from the sky with some bonus airborne effectiveness. I'm calling it now. And honestly, Astrocyte as of today was really surprising to me. At first, I thought it was going to be more of a meme. But I honestly might use it for trials on Disjunction because let's be honest, we all know Disjunction is getting voted. I found that the Astrocyte Blink combo gave me three big advantages. The first being the ability to traverse the map faster than any other character. In Iron Banner, I was able to lock down zones and start capturing them before those shoulder charge titans, Icarus dashing warlocks, and grappling hunters. And this is why I might use Astrocyte for trials on Disjunction. That map is massive, and if I can get to the lanes first, and easily close the gap on those pesky passive pulse rifle peats, then there's a good chance that I can string some wins together. The second advantage I had was the ability to evade all of the Crucible's bullshit. I was able to outmaneuver so many immortal SMGs, high impact fusions, and ability spam, and I was making the other team livid. And the third advantage, which is one I kind of forgot about, is that Astrocyte gives you a bonus 30 AE while using Blink. So even though I was flying around the map like a madman, my AE stat was never penalized. But just a heads up, Astrocyte really is map dependent. Obviously, you can't really use this thing on something like Jav 4 or Anomaly because there are ceilings everywhere. But for other maps like Widow's Court or Altar of Flame, man, Astrocyte is fun. And then we mix in the Manta core. This one's not very popular, so let me break it down for you quick in case you forgot. This is that SMG where dealing damage from the air makes you hover in place. And what's nice is that the Swooping Talon's exotic perk actually buffs that outgoing damage while airborne. So the thought process is, you blink way above the enemy, they're trying to track you on your way down, but you pause in place from Manticore and really trick them. I found it really throws players off because they're expecting gravity to bring you down to the floor. So oftentimes they're pulling out shotguns or fusions thinking you're going to be in their face, but you create that distance by activating Manticore at the perfect time. I'm also going to recommend that you take the time to finish up the Manticore's catalyst, because what it's going to do is grant you damage resistance if you get a final blow while airborne. I found this to be so useful because when you are blinking and floating in the air, you're putting yourself at high risk. But if you get that defeat, that damage resistance is going to help you escape someone who might be shooting at you from a distance. So to be fully effective with this build, here's a couple of tips that I learned from messing with it myself. Number one, you don't have to build up the anti-grav perk on the ground first before taking it airborne. You can have no energy built up, as long as you are sustaining damage on a target while in the air, you will float. So feel free to use this synergy as you please. Number two, it's critical to remember that the best way to deactivate Manticore's floating ability is by switching weapons. There's kind of this grace period where even after you stop doing damage in air, Manticore has you float for an extra second or two. So it's best to use a high handling weapon in the kinetic slot and switch to it to get back to the ground. Number three, I'd recommend building into Devour with things like Feed the Void aspect because if you can get that going paired with the DR from Manticore's Catalyst, you can become a tank and chain kills together endlessly. Number four, definitely try to play off of your Child of the Old Gods riff. 
left. What I was doing was sending the child out and then blinking over them to finish the job. And lastly, as fun as this combo is, don't spam it too much because the enemy will pick up on it. So blink on them for the first engagement, maybe the next time just make a shoddy push from the ground, then go back to blinking above them, just make sure you stay unpredictable. Guardians, that will conclude our video for today, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on this format. I tried to skip over the same old mods and aspects and fragments talk and focus a bit more on how to use the build itself. So if you like this style more, definitely let me know. If you enjoyed the video, a like and sub is appreciated. And as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the Cosmodrome. This is my fucking god of our child. Yes, I didn't even fucking move. Oh my god, dude.